Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. Back in the eastern end of the valley, the first static defense force is connected with a few groups of survivors. There's a mercenary unit called the Backyard Hooligans, and also a few ragtag security force units that manage to make their way to a facility. These units have decided to try and make a last stand at the end of the valley against the approaching Reaper units. We've also heard from reliable sources that several other units are moving into position to attack this base. So we've moved out the first static defense unit to try and intercept some of these units so that the mass of Reaper forces will be a lot less. Okay, so it would seem the information that we got from the anonymous source was, was pretty correct. It looks like there's a heavy artillery unit moving through this valley here. We're going to move up and hopefully wipe it out and then get the hell out of here. Now this is a four skull ambush convoy. I have no idea what to expect from this. Whether we're going to get like I have no idea. We've, we've got the indirect fire, we've got the mines, so I'm hoping that we, if worst case scenario, we kill the convoy and get out of here. It wouldn't let me drop down here, which is where I wanted to drop, because I think they're going to get reinforcements. So our escape area is like right here. So once the convoy's dead, we, we, we can look to running away as like a hit and run action, but uh, I don't know. Actually, and I have no idea if there's anybody down here now. So let's just get up. Let's get up here. Affirmative. That'll give us eyes on, I think. Ooh, nothing still. Okay, this is our lurm boat. Let's get over here. Affirmative. We got two mortars. One. Coordinates received. And two. Okay, now we got our Ultra 5. We can come up here. On my way. Now there's been some minor tweaks to the mechs. Um, just so you know, you'll you'll see some minor tweaks today. Uh, once again, I'm just trying to squeeze the maximum potential I can out of these Irbies. I got you're fast. I'm gonna drop you down there. You're the thumper. Let's get up a little higher. Acknowledged. You're the LRM boat into here. Got it. Dual Lars lasers. Position confirmed. And our Chaparral arrow. Okay, I have no idea what to expect here. Doesn't sound like they're moving very far. Okay. I don't want to like be like move into a position where they can see me in the valley though. That's probably safe. Our nope. Is within sensor range. Okay, so they are relatively slow. We got a laser carrier, AC-10 carrier, AC-10 carrier, and arrow carrier. A stalker, Hollander, Trebuchet, and a Shadowhawk. Alright, so it's not that bad. I mean, it's bad. But not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Actually, you're going to sit. Keeping it cool. You're going to sit. You're going to sit. Um, let's get into here. Moving to position. Let's get into here. Let's get into here. I'm there. And let's get you up here. Location confirmed. Let's put you into here. Let's move you up a little bit to there. Moving to and let's move you back a little bit to here. Affirmative. Alright. Let's see how fast these guys are. That's my big concern. If these guys are really fast, I could be screwed here. Okay, he's a little bit fast. <sighs> so laser carrier, AC-10 carriers, and an arrow carrier. This is the guy that's got to die the fastest. Because I can retreat to... I can retreat to range. 240 armor is nothing. I can retreat and go indirect fire.
that's going to put me in stalker range. That's actually pretty good right there. Um, we got to sprint it though, because we got to be looking at them. We got to splash the damage across multiple locations, so it's always better to be like looking right at them. Okay. So you, 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 and you. Warlord this. Get those mines down in there. It's not, I mean, we got want well, to have the lowest chance to hit with the mine dispensers, but. Locked in on the target. I didn't hit with either of the lasers? Primary target is damaged, man. Keep it up. Really? Short range missiles are out. Well, the mine spread's nice, though. So the arrow goes on 15, eh? Going after the mortars. That's all right. Order. So this is one of the mechs that's had a few changes to it. Uh, you notice there's a pair of Clan LRM-10s on here right now. We had an LRM-20 and an LRM-5 before. So I was able to... This doesn't matter, but we're going to sensor lock him anyway. I was able to um, up the engine a little bit when I dropped these two in. Thunder or uh, incendiary. I was able to add an extra ton of incendiary ammo. The core went up. Uh, let's try for the kill before we go with incendiary. I think that guy's got to... We got to kill that guy fast, fast. Yeah, he's, these guys are going to take so much damage in that... In that uh, little walkway there. On my way. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, I was able to up some things. Ah, damn it. Such a good chance to hit. Better? I copy. Okay. Adjusting targeting. No, don't bother. It's where it uh, wants. Yep. It's where it should be. Okay, they're gonna move before they shoot. So let's get into here. Ten four. We're gonna go after that arrow again, and we're doing this. Not the best way to use these mines, but we may not be coming back over this hill again. Uh. Let's go with Slug, see if we can get it in one... Well, no, the damage is pretty good to this side. So let's go back to Cluster, get as much hit as we can. Upper. Nice. Okay, so those mines landed right where the vehicles were. So much for that, little guy. Reporting. Multiple weapons with no ammo. That's all right. All right, we can't target the ground from there. Although, on my way. this might not be a good idea, but we're going to do this anyway. going to move up here because I want to get these mine, mine dispensers down sooner rather than later. Get the Ultra 5 off. Um, save this for next turn because I want as many mines to land on the ground other than hitting the mechs. So let's go this route. Ooh, they both hit. Nice. That's a nice fat minefield. Out of short range missiles. Yeah, as long as that stalker can't see us, he's not really that much of a threat. Um Yes, Commander. Let's go back to the AC ten carrier, switch this up to Inferno. And drop a nice little heat source in there. Engaging with target. Beautiful. Hopefully those vehicles end their turn in the fire and that way they'll take some more Waiting damage. Those vehicles don't have the speed to sh see this person right away. I'm gonna front load it. Let's get some damage out on this guy. Taking the shot. Nice hit. Looked like a head hit, but it wasn't. Good to go. All right, doggy dog. Uh, let's just go over here for now. You're not gonna fire. Cause he'll if he fires, he's gonna negate the mines. The chaparral will really come in handy 
you'll see later on um, if any vehicles or stuff make it through here then we can uh, go ahead and use that um, the arrow on them okay let's drop some more fast cam down where the stalker is it'll spread around so nice no joy commander Stalker's a little OP. It'd be nice for the playthrough, but um, let's go with. Where are you here? Uh, turn you to there. So I was able to add, which I can't use at the moment. We could do this. I think we do. So the MRM tens. I was able to get a ton of um, tandem ammo in there. MRM tandems. Definitely helps out with vehicles a little bit. I mean, it could have gone with incendiaries, but I'm out of FRM. I'm hoping the tandems work a little better. Thirty-one landmine explosions. So, huh, I did a little test on one of my offline playthroughs or one of my offline matches, and. Um, I laid down just a crap ton of mines all in one spot. Now I murdered the enemy that way, that's how they died obviously. But um, the beautiful thing about it was I went to go through that minefield close to the end of the battle just to see how many mines were laid down. Let's go after this guy, it's the best chance to hit. Um, and it was like, at the thickest area it was like 250 chances for mine explosions. Now most of them were only like one point damage, but uh, still like 250 chances for mine explosions. It was like, that's some serious mines. <laughs> I'm on my way. And if you can keep your enemy bottled up in that area by just staying indirect and not getting into a direct confrontation with them, man, that's like some serious damage. Affirmative. We're working towards getting to um, five skull missions with this group. So once I'm able to find like, an, like two more Irbies, I gotta, I'm gotta i keep playing, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, low skull matches, hoping to find more Irbies, but I haven't been able to get any. Um, they don't even show up. Like I haven't been able to fight any Irbies for a while now, and I don't know whether it's just because of Commander. how good these guys are, like the difficulty level or what it is, but um, yeah, I haven't been able to, uh, haven't been able to find any. Oh yeah, I was also able to add a, a, a full ton of thunder to this guy, so now he's got nine turns of thunder firing with, L, with two LRM-10s. So perfect for five skull base defense where I can just be laying mines the entire time. Commander? Back up a little Keep bit. Going. Apply a little bit of damage to this guy over here. We got a clan ultra five on this guy now. Ooh, nice shots. Receiving you. Let's back up for now. On the move. Full speed. Let's let their mines those mines do their thing here. Let's not give the vehicles a uh, an opportune to uh, Wipe us out completely. Drop the fast cam on the, on the lead guy. I'm fully expecting that once the next vehicle blows up, um, yep. we're going to get reinforcements. Fast cam. And if we take in most of these guys out, then we're just going to wheel to the to the left and get around behind the minefield and force the enemy to come to us. That's the goal anyway, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, that guy took some damage. Yeah, like his... Well, he's only had 50, 50 armor in the legs, so he's got a Goss rifle too. Yes, Commander. He really does... This really does feel like a cheat build. I mean, it really isn't, because that's... It's games working as intended. But, you know, I'm just saying it, it just feels like a cheat build. Let's just back up. No point exposing to a pair of AC-10s. Let's see how much damage they take coming out of that valley. 
yeah, he's like, this guy's almost done. Yeah. What are your orders? There's just so many mines in that valley. I really think you should move. Let's get in the trees in case they got a shot off on us, but we're going to back up over here. And I'm going to go ahead and use Vigilance. Get us ahead of them. Now, which guy's got damage closer to us? You're down to about 40 or so. That's not bad. We might get a kill on the lead guy if we fire for him. And if we miss, we might hit the uh, stalker. So let's do this. Here we go. Nice. Good damage, but not what we want. Reporting. Critical hit. Oh, that's pretty damn good. Damage is minor, Commander. We need another um, urban mech with another... Uh, Standing by. With another AMS Mark II in it. This is the damage guy, right? Yeah. Let's kill this guy. Alright. Yep. Enemy here they come. Reinforcements. They're, heading your way. They're over here. Oh, looks like it's just vehicles though. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Because this is a four skull. Ballista, self-propelled gun, Hellstorm material. Well, shit, we gotta kill that guy fast. LRM-15 in a pair of streaks. There's got to be some uh, some other guys down there, though. Receiving you. All right, this is your job. On my way. Until it's not. Let's hope for a hit. Here it comes. Got it. Nope, little short. That's fine. Fail to connect. That guy's taking a lot of damage. Commander. Moving to position. Those guys in the valley are pretty much toast, so we gotta get, oh, we got two more over here. Pegasus Pirate with a pair of a ATMs. And a pack rat. Alright, so not so bad. It's really this guy we gotta kill. Um gonna go high explosive. Let's warlord this too. Just because if we miss, then we can splash some damage in on him. I copy. Okay. New turn. I don't know how fast that Hellstorm guy is. Looks like the Treb's going first. No, nope, Hollander. Okay. Yeah, looks like he's got one more run in him and he's pretty much done. Orders. Okay, is that stalker in a position? It is in a position to attack. Yeah, this is not looking very good on this side. You know what? Copy that. Let's get over here. Let's get on this side. We'll bring the Hollander back to this turn. These guys in the valley are pretty much neutralized. I don't think we have to worry too much about them. So he's into internal structure now. We may lose the chaparral, which I'm not really looking forward to. Depends on what kind of indirect they're gonna go for here. I'm listening. Let's 
Let's get over I'm here. Let's get some early shots off on these guys. 26. Well, let's just see if we can get this guy. What's going on with your lasers? They're not coming close to anybody. I want to try and spread out a little bit here. Let's do this. Not the best positioning, but... If that hellstorm goes off, it could be in a lot of trouble. Uh... He's got so much armor, though. Maybe we try and clear up the laser carrier. Stalker I'm not worried about. Treb. Yeah, he's into internal structure now. Hollander is really... In oh, this guy's almost done. As soon as he moves, he's toast. Striker. No, I think we go after... We could soften this guy up a bit, too. You know what? Let's try and kill the... Um, Let's try and kill the laser carrier. Okay, good damage. As soon as it moves, it should be done. Uh, what do we got now? Let's get you back this way. Let's just get to here. Get a bit of evasion. We don't need to fire this turn. Okay. Receiving you. Mm, yeah, let's not maybe let that hellstorm see us directly. <laughs> I don't know if it's a like. Yeah, I don't know if that would be a good thing or a bad thing. And let's get on this guy. As much as I want to drop um, some mines down there, I think we need to go with acid on this guy. He hasn't moved yet, so using uh, sensor locks is useless. On it. Splash, if we can get some acid on them, then we can up the damage with everybody else, so... Then all our little ineffectual shots will start to turn into a little bit more damage. Uh, let's move this way. I'm walking get our stability back. We are going to push the guys in the valley, just not yet. Good to go. Okay, let's get you down here. Sixty on that guy. Let's shoot the pack rat. Maybe we can get rid of him. I mean, he's only got an SRM six, but try. nothing. Our lasers are being so ineffectual today. No joy. Orders. The reason why I say that is because I played a match just before this one. That was supposed to be the one I was going to use for my recording, but it ended up being so easy that I decided against it because it was like. It was like a milk run match, and it was a three scun, th three scun, three skull battle in the open, in the back. desert versus um, pirates. I was really hoping to use it for this, but can't, I couldn't do it because it was just too easy of a battle. I mean, this is fairly simple too, right? But they, I mean, they had a warhammer, they had a grasshopper, and I can't remember what else they had, but they went down pretty fast. Moving out. Trying to spread out just a little bit here. Minimize any impact that these guys are going to have. Firing on target. Nope. At least we got a couple points in there. Receiving you. Okay, let's back up this way a bit. I have a feeling the Hellstorm might go for the Chaparral or for the Thumper. But who knows, right? I have no idea. Let's get some more acid on him. Oh, we did hit him. Ooh, that changes things. Because the acid will do less damage to the side, but if we go... Is this our Inferno boat? It's not. I'm going to go Air Burst. Or do we go Guided? 
slightly better chance to hit. But air burst spreads the damage. Of, uh, you know, we, we might get lucky this way. Well, uh, we got a little bit of damage on him. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah. Oh, did he blow up? Who blew up? One of their vehicles, right? Yeah, the guy that we hit with Infernos. Their the, uh, laser carrier. Receiving you. Um, that's probably not the best place, but we're gonna move here because I want to go after that. Uh, this guy. I don't care what the chance is. We're shooting. We did 10 damage to this spot. Maybe we get if we get two missiles on Roger. in that location, we're good to go. Nope, couldn't even get one. Well, it is what it is. Nothing landed. Nice. The AMS Mark II is nice, but like it, on missile heavy enemies, it burns through ammo real fast. I need to get another ton of ammo in there. It's only got 200 rounds, right? So. Why does this guy not fire? Maybe his gun's damaged? Yes, I hear you. Why would he not fire? Um. Okay, let's see if I can Copy end this that. early with this guy. We got the mortar, so... We only got a few more shots, so we might as well try and get in with this guy. Gonna warlord this, give us just a slightly better chance to hit, but that's a pretty darn good chance to hit with the mortar. Engaging hostile. Come on. Is that enough? Pierced through the armor. Nah, damn it. Oh, come on. What has it got like a half a point left? Damn it. I'm under heavy fire here. Yeah, I saw that. Like honestly. Seriously? Yes, Commander. You're going to make me shoot him one more time, aren't you? Not with you, though. We want stalker parts. Don't think this will matter. I don't think it affected his uh, evasion in any way, but... I'm trying to get clear of the minefield, but it's not going to help. You got nowhere to move down there, buddy. Hollander's done this turn as soon as he moves. Yeah. I don't know. Might as well just lock him. Locked on. See if we get the kill. That's pretty nice. Air burst it is. There we go. That could have been bad. Vehicle destroyed. That could have been bad. You know, the other thing too is they may not have good sensors on us. Goodbye. Waiting now I know we've got Hollander pieces. Let's move. I don't understand why these guys haven't moved yet though. 42. 42. I think this guy's more of a threat, so let's go after this guy. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's just park here for a second. I'm your Spaniel. We're gonna move out and fight them next turn. Ready for orders. Move to here. Yeah, I think these guys probably haven't moved. Maybe because they don't they don't see us? I, I don't know. I, I can't think of why they haven't moved yet. Firing. Uh, 
Because this is like the third turn since they've been here, so... I don't know. I think he took 25, that guy. Oof. Barely hit, Commander. Come on. Monsieur Le Stucker. Wow. Taking almost 100 damage so far. That bodes well for going against the salt necks and stuff. However if, they, however, if they decide that they're going to push us, not much we can do about it. Wow, that was a huge miss. No luck. Yeah, I can tell. Waiting for orders. All right, beefy, my boy. On it. See if we can eliminate this guy. Um, he's got like nothing left there. Let's go with some guy, and maybe we can just blow right through it. Engaging with target. There you go. There you go. Vehicle trashed. I was really hoping Ready for more of a challenge at Four Skulls, but... I mean, I guess I better be, be careful about what I ask for. Let's try and give us the option to go home. Let's fire at this guy. Here we go. Leopard inbound, Commander. I'll meet you at the LZ. Don't worry about it, we ain't going anywhere. Now if there was four heavy mechs down here and a four heavy mech showed up here, I'd definitely be bailing out, but this is we're in cleanup mode at this point. Ready for orders. We are in cleanup mode. Let's get on this guy. Firing. Gonna move forward and engage with the other mechs though. Striker's finally moving. Ready for orders. How far this way can you go? Not bad. I copy. The farther I way I get away from that stalker, the less damage it can do, I think. Seventy percent chance to hit. Firing on Here it comes. Arc. Come on, kill him. Ah, damn it. Really? Negative damage. You have my attention. All right, let's give that let's give these guys something to worry about here. Acknowledged. I'm moving. Let's give them something to worry about. Okay, his legs are almost done. So do we I think we're going to shoot at one of the vehicles. Not that guy. 35 in the stalker. I mean, I could target the leg on that guy, but I think we're better off just killing the vehicle here. Come on. Here we go. Vehicle destroyed. I think the Treb's going to lose its own legs here in a second. It would have been a waste of a shot, I think, on the Treb. That guy's just sitting there. Commander. I don't know, let's see what they do, like... Firing on target. They're kind of doing what I was doing before. They're hugging the wall here so that we can't shoot them directly. I'm receiving you. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but... Up here. Rolling. But they ain't gonna get anything Dead done doing that. Just open up on this guy. Okay, a lot of internal damage. Not quite enough though. Wish I could fit a bigger MRM at this. Goodbye. Oh, he only lost one leg. We'll clear that up here in a second. We'll clear that up right now. It's got zero left. 
What? Ready for orders. Can you guys smell that? It's bullshit. That's what I'm smelling. I'm smelling bullshit. Uh, let's drop acid on the stalker. Because that way when it moves, the mines will do more damage. And we're not going to really do that much damage to it with, with, with the acid. We'll apply a little bit of damage to it, but not a whole lot. And it'll take way more when it moves. Take a shot. If it moves. I don't know if it's going to... Yeah, come on. You know you want to. He's thinking about it. Nope. Decided against it. Light damage. Holding firm. Yeah, he took uh, a bunch just turning around. He realized he couldn't get out of there. He's like, nope, fuck this. Receiving you. I'm done. All right, what can we do to this guy? See if we can apply some fat damage to this guy. Firing on rear arc. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Guy should just bail out. So this thing is turreted, or not turreted? I mean, sort of fixed forward. So I, got, I can't angle in a different direction. That's a pretty good chance to hit, though. Putting Come on. Yes. Vehicle trashed. Orders. Okay, let's get up here. I got a feeling this Shadowhawk's going to be duking it out with us in a few minutes here. Waiting for orders. Copy that. It's got zero leg armor. Come on. Target really? Oh, come on. I'm listening. That's some bullshit. Uh, do I want to close? I don't think I do. Let's go here. I'm on it. Much better opportunity to claim that leg. There we go. Crying out loud. Alright. What they doing? Oh, you're gonna come out of kinda come out of hiding for a little bit of shooting, are ya? Ooh, that's good shooting though. That's good shooting. Waiting for his opportunity. Yeah, hang on. Just hang on. Confirm. Get down Stop here. That, Commander. Standing by. I almost, I, I'm doing this because I want that stalker to move out of there. It's not the best move in the world, but maybe that stalker will show himself. Let's get some rockets on this guy too. Might as well start lo loading some damage in on him. That's a lot more that, you know, a lot more hit than I thought would. I'm out of SRM. It's all right, buddy. That's all right. Orders. You doing your job. On the move. Making sure that if that guy does move, he's done for. Let's load some acid on this guy. Shadowhawk's turn. Good to go. I don't think this will matter, but we're gonna do it anyway. He didn't move far enough that the sensor lock's gonna make a difference. Yeah, no big deal. Gotta try it though, I guess. Affirmative. Wait a minute. It said 54, and then it went to 60s, so... 
Ignored a critical hit. Maybe it did make a difference. Oh, he's unsteady. Commander. Can we, uh... Damn, I can't capitalize on that. Double time. Let's go. Can't capitalize on it. Who do we have? What's up, boss? Heat sink. We can capitalize on it. We got a knockdown potential here. Only got one spot to shoot from, though. Right here. Aye, aye. All right, let's do the knockdown. Oh, we got an M or M jam. I can't remember the last time that happened for, for us. It's been quite a while. Oh, he's gonna back up and shoot. Eating into what little reserves he's got left on those legs. Alright, let's not move. Here it comes. Ooh, a lot of damage on that torso. Reporting and the leg. Hit. Waiting for orders. Confirmed. We got one more guided left. Let's give it to this guy. Roger that. He's asking for it. Nope. Nope. Missed. I'm out of long range missiles. On. Just need to nudge him with stability. There you go. Target's taking it. Come on, buddy. Ah, want him to bail out. Standing by. Let's not give that stalker a shot on you. Sounds good. I'm moving. Taking too much damage already. Let's just back up a little bit. All right, a little better. We got one more mortar shot, and then we're done. Inflicting heavy damage. Well, his ECM's gone. Uh, yep. Hmm. No, I don't think we go yet. I don't think we go just yet. Let's go over here. All right, let's move. If we go too early, yes, we'll be stuck there by ourselves. All right. Um, let's apply some more acid to this guy. Okay, upper leg damage. Did some heavy damage. Standing by. Acid, please. Drop it on this guy. Let's make it even worse for him. Roger that. All right, no hit. Well, we got one hit on that one. Solid connection on that one. Yes, Commander. Okay. Now what do we do? If I try for the kill on this guy. You know what? Let's switch to Inferno or Incendiary and just drop it on this guy. Okay, we got the engine. Fine. Mech destroyed. Wasn't expecting that, but yes, it's probably a good thing overall. Okay, the MRAM is unjammed. Let's just put you here for now. I want to make sure everybody's moving together on this stalker. Back it up. Acknowledged. That guy's going on 12, so. Yes, Commander. He's probably going to shoot for you, too, so let's get you to a position where he's going to hit the back or the side that's got armor. Like that. Get some evasion going. Standing by. Okay, Scipio Africanus, let's drop in some Inferno. Target acquired. Nice shot. 
That hit something good. Bonnie landed some good shots. Uh, let's reserve you. Because you're in a position where we could take a leg. So if that guy moves and doesn't lose a leg, which he probably won't because he's not moving far enough. Oh, he did get a shot on us, though. We might be in a position to take a leg now. Yeah, he's like over. 37, 44. Okay. Plus lots of acid. Yeah, we'll, I'm right interested here. to see... Oh. See you next. Let's just make him unstable if we can. Oh, we got one hit in the leg. I think I hit something good. What's up, boss? Okay, okay. That's the best shot, but that's damage. You know what? Fuck it. Heading out. Take a little bit of armor damage. We got full armor still. So we're okay. We're gonna warlord it. Offensive push. We take this leg, game's over for him. So yeah, it's already gone from 40 to 45 point, 45 damage. Firing a full Man, those lasers are just not even hitting today. Oh, he is panicking. You have my attention. Do you want to return fire, do you think? He somehow could see me, but I can't see him directly. Yeah, we return fire. Copy that. We're going to return fire. Got lots of offensive push, so let's use it. Copy that. If you're wondering why the one large laser has got such a bigger chance to hit than the other one, it's because with the affinities on this mech, I get plus two to hit for the arm mounted laser on the one arm. And I have you get offensive push bonus with that as well. Commander. So that's why the OP is such so such like way higher on one than the other. All right, let's just mop this guy up. That, let's not splash anything. Okay, we got one in the leg. Wow, that laser did 28. Nice. That's going to hurt. Nice. Ready for orders. Okay, let's get the Exostar on that guy. I picked up a few Exostars on the, uh, on the, um, on the side missions too, which are great because they're plus one to hit. Same range, a little bit more heat, but plus one to hit. I await your command. Which is great for like for the urban mechs because these guys barely have um, like any weaponry on them. So that that side medium laser, being an exostar, is just so much better. All right, let's not blow this guy up. Firing. Oh come on! We got mortars left. Dude. That should do it. That should do it if you land the shot. There you go. Nice. Tango down. There it is, folks. So not too bad. Mission successful. So one of our playthroughs, I, I think it's this one. We have a stalker piece. Maybe it's not this one. It'd be nice if we did have it on this one, because we're getting pretty close to having a full stalker. Let's see what we get here. A lot of see, here's the thing: we've got a lot of carrier pieces. I could take these, the four carrier pieces, because I think I have another hairy, heavy carrier, hairy, hairy carry piece, another heavy carrier piece somewhere, which means we could put a heavy carrier together. Well, the armor is pretty damn low. That's like sixty. This is only a hundred. Ballista. So this is the Hellstorm tank. Hollander two parts. We do have one. So another carrier part down here. Laser carrier. Not a lot of armor. Shadowhawk. There's the stalker pieces. We don't have any of this version. I should probably take all three stalker pieces though. Two arrow fours. Could you imagine a stalker with two arrow fours? I could get rid of the vehicles at that point. I've got one arrow four already. There's the Hellstorm art artillery. 
18 tons though. Recoil of 3, 30 area effect damage to units in radius. Rotary howitzer has select fire of 1 to 6 shots. Now, what about ammo? There's the question. What does it use? Huh, <laughs> never melee. Uses heavy rifle ammo. Heavy rifle ammo, really? So, why do I keep doing that? Let's just pull it down to the bottom. Double heat sink kits we don't need. Arrow ammo's there. Do we have arrow ammo? I think we do. We got two. So there's the heavy rifle. Sabo, Sabo. More damage to armor. And then regular heavy rifle ammo. It's only six shots per ton though. And that's five per ton. Ooh, boy. I think, though, of any, of any playthrough, this is probably the one to, do, to use that in. Now all we have to do is find a chassis that can mount the damn thing. Okay, I think I should probably take the thunder ammo again to have backup. This playthrough is all about the mine laying, so... If we don't have backup ammo and we take damage, it's like going to peter out. We got three and a half million C bills. So I don't need to take anything with C bills. Tag would be nice. Small X pulse. It's short range, a small X pulse. I, I got to stay at range with these guys. If I get too close, they're going to get shredded real fast. I mean, I could take the second arrow. Or just a stalker piece. But I I need five pieces, so the stalker's like not gonna help me. What about Goss? Got one. I don't think we're gonna be using a Goss rifle anytime soon either. Just because of the weight restrictions, right? So maybe I do take this as a backup ammo. I know this seems like a shitty salvage, and it, like I said, any and any other playthrough, it would be probably be three stalker parts but I think for this playthrough we're going to go with this I just got to figure out what, what that hellstorm is going to go in all right we got a hollander part we got we did get one stalker part two carrier parts a couple of trebuchet parts oh we can put a treb together not that we're going to we're not going to keep it but we can put it one together although mm, no because I've already got I'll show you in a second. I've already got another mech plan for this playthrough that we're going to throw in. So the Treb's going to go away. Uh, Goss Rifle. Pair of LRM 5s. These guys can go. Medium Lasers. We've got two. We're going to hang on to those just in case. The XL can go. The Double Heatsink Kit can go. Arrow Ammo we'll hold on to. Goss Ammo we'll hold on to. So we did get the Goss. That's nice. LRM Tandem Ammo. And MRM Tandem is, tandem is backup. Nice. So that was a actually really good roll. We got some stuff that we could really use. All right, so let's go to the mech bay before we end this episode here and check out what we got going on. So yeah, there's the Clint there. You'll see that you'll see the Clint out in the next the next time we play. We'll have eight mechs on the field. You'll see what the what we got going on with the Clint. Uh, what what happened to this guy? We took some internal damage. Did I lose a heat sink or something? What did I lose? It wasn't much, I don't think. Just the shoulder damage. All right, let's repair all. All right, not too bad. It's actually pretty good for uh, oh, for a four skull man. mission. That's the minimal damage. Yeah, so this Clint's gonna be gonna be good times. Um, uh, storage, real quick. So let's have a look here. Now we do have enough to put a carrier together. Uh, the problem I'm finding with the carriers. Like, we could put the Arrow 4 carrier together. One with three LRM-20s. The problem with 60 armor around the outside... What's this guy here? Nine Thunderbolt 5s. See, that's a little better. 
And the reason why is because the armor's a little higher. You saw what was happening with the chaparral, right? We constantly had um, there are missiles targeting the chaparral, trying to take it out of the out of the game. And if you've got a carrier like this, like it's not going to last very long. It just won't. Like they'll just target it with whatever whatever long range weapons they have and try and destroy it early. So it's almost not worth putting together, you know? Like the two arrows, you might get a couple shots off, maybe two or three turns to do your damage and then if and then if you lose the vehicle, it's gone, right? So we do have a we do have this guy to put together. We've got a ripper to put together. I haven't done yet. It's got a bomb rack and uh, some medium pulse lasers. So I'm just kind of keeping some of these things here in storage. Like I'm going to keep the I'll keep the treb in storage. So this is which one? It's got the XL engine, 250 core, endo steel, some jump jets, Zeus LRM 15s, probably three medium lasers. So I mean that's not bad. Missile bow plus six missile cluster, one missile evasion, ignore. Plus two indirect missile accuracy. That's pretty darn good. So yeah, I mean, we'll keep it here. And then if we lose something, we'll be able to bring it forward. Because once we start going up in skulls, like I've only got two urban mech parts too. I need way more. Once we start going up in skull difficulty, um, we're going to start losing stuff. I know we will. So we're going to have to keep these guys around. Most likely, like I would want to get another one, of the, another part for this. But I don't know. I don't know what would be better, the arrow or the... L I think probably the LRM carrier because we could lay mines and then not have to worry about losing them but the LRM carrier. But with the arrows, we would. It's really like it's really iffy, right? Like, you have no idea. Um, yeah, but I think that's all I want to do. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and I'll show you what's, what we got in store for the next episode. I'm going to bring the Clint into play here real quick and we'll uh, I'll show you what's going to happen. So there's their ship upgrade. Those upgrades you asked Ready for? to go over financials whenever you are. Yeah, I know. We're starting to get up there. Although strangely enough, this playthrough is so easy to generate sea bills. You take lower level missions against the clans, lay minefields everywhere, the mechs blow all their legs off. You take all the XL cores and all the their clan double heatsink kits as your salvage and sell them. And you just make so much money every mission, it's ridiculous. And then whatever you get in the um, as extra loot, you can just go ahead and sell it all and you make so much money. And Or you're just getting clan gear at that point, right? So it's, it's so easy to make sea bills with, with a mine laying unit. It's just, it's just, in, it's obscene how much money you can make just with like six urban mechs and just mines. It's crazy. Anyway, let's get this guy back real quick here. One more day. Done, Actually, so I don't forget, because I, I know I will if I if I don't do this. Gotta take the third mech bay. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Ah, uh, there's a lot of money. And then th now we can take this. Once the mech bay's done, we'll be able to have the last um, mech drop, which will be nice. And then I might have to work on drop, drop tonnage, but it's highly unlikely. I can drop 400 tons, and my mechs right now are under that, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, so, nope, uh, Mech Bay. Mech Bay. Nice to see you down All right, here we go. The so here's the Clint. Once again, this guy is not made for frontline service, but let's have a look here. It's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun mech to have on the battlefield. I'll probably leave the chaparral off for now, but we got the thumper artillery on the one side, a medium X pulse and tag barrage. And that's it. We got the XL, we got the uh, Klein XL, Ferro and Endo Steel, regular heat sinks, because this thing's like really, like relatively heat um, efficient. And it's going to be like shooting at like indirect fire. So I don't really care about the medium X pulse. We do have bolt on rocket and bolt on tandem rockets if we have to take on vehicles or mechs up close. We can use these two, plus the X pulse and the tag barrage uh, to do direct damage. We've only got one ton, ton of thumper ammo. It is 20 shots though, so it's pretty darn good. We can use this thing in direct fire mode. Uh, it's not the sawed off, which means we've got, you know, good range with this thing. Like, it's like across the map board, right? It's the same as the, um, the, uh, the urban thumper tank we have. So, um, yeah, we'll be able to hammer people at a distance with this thing. Now, it's not going to work well with 
our mind laying. But if we can get strays with this guy, you know, stray mechs here or there, or if I, you know, I can move in using tag barrage and expulse if I have to. It's got full armor, so we got uh, fire control system indirect. Uh, we lose two initiative off the the mech, but we get plus three um, accuracy with indirect fire. Got a range finder on it as well, just so we can see directly. So if we have to use the thumper in direct fire mode, we can get a good line of sight on people uh, because I don't have a targeting computer for it, unfortunately. Once I get one, I'll drop one of the rockets and, and throw that in. Um, and if I can get, like, where is it here? Got a minigun. I don't have an AMS for this thing. But somehow if I can get, I don't know, I don't know if I can. If I can get a good gyro and I can sneak an A, like a, and I, can, I can't use the advanced AMS, but an AMS Mark II and some ammo in here, I'll definitely do that. Like I would downgrade the medium expulse to like a regular medium laser if I could, um, just to be able to sneak that in. And if I can get Clan Pharaoh, I can pull the case out. You know, I can, there's a couple things that I can do to this thing to sneak a little bit of extra tonnage to get an AMS in here. Because we've got one uh, support hardpoint there and one here. So I could drop the AMS either in the CT or on the, on the torso here, like an AMS Mark II, and have this as a second AMS mech as well. So there's like there's some versatile, like uh, variability in this. And with the variable range targeting, I mean, it's not the best, right? But you can switch, swap between long range and short range targeting. So I can just leave it on long range the whole time. Um, and fire indirectly and hopefully hit fairly well with this thing. So that's the goal for this guy, right? It's just, he's a dedicated artillery mech pretty much with, you know, a few secondary support points. But that's what I'm looking for for, like, if I don't have urban mechs, this is the kind of mech I'm looking for. Something that's got, you know, just that kind of firepower. Right now... Like the, I'm not really happy with the Hollander. It's just another direct fire support mech. It's 35 tons. It doesn't weigh that much. So it's kind of close to where the Irbys are at. Um, speed's a little bit faster than the Irbys. Um, so, I mean, it's it's okay for now. It fills a slot. Um, but the Clint, the, the Clint will be better in that position. But if I can find, like I said, if I can't get any more Irbys, I'm going to try and find mechs that are like this that I can use as dedicated fire support like having like if I got the stalker I would drop a pair of arrows in it right so it would have very limited use you know what I mean a couple of arrows some medium lasers and that would be it yeah it's going to have lots of armor sure but the arrows will clear the minefields if I'm not careful so it would be very very specific use right so that's the kind of thing we're looking for for this playthrough anyway alright so I'm going to leave the episode here guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop in your comments comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.